What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Dog, and we back with another one. Yes, we're back with another one. I know what y'all want, and I'm here to give it to y'all. But first thing first, make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, because from here on out, it's up. So before we do anything, I want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to the community for rocking with me. I dropped my first build video on day one of release, and y'all went absolutely mayhem on that build video. The love I received from that video is just insanity to me. Y'all motivate me to want to get on here, get in that builder, try to make as many locks as I can, because y'all know who do it and who do it the best. I'm going to find the sauce, and I'm never gatekeeping. I'm going to give it to y'all every trip. And the love y'all showed in them comments, y'all went absolutely berserk, berserk on that video. So I want to thank y'all, y'all giving me something to work with, y'all in the comments, um, y'all in the streams. I am back streaming on YouTube as well. So not only am I on Twitch, I'm on YouTube. And one thing about Big Dog that I love the most about the YouTube live streams, people will come in there and they're watching me on these bills before they actually make the bill video. And there's nothing more that I love than that because I'm not here to just sell y'all on BS for some views. I'm here to try to get the best builds, lock builds to the community that I can come up with. So when people come in these comments, they, they're asking me, is this the build that you got the video on? Yeah. Let me see something. Sure. This is what I do. So for you to so to sell myself, to sell my brand, to sell my to sell my builds, I'm loving it. So keep doing it. Keep putting that pressure on me. All my live, my Twitch, my YouTube, everything is in the description. Keep coming in there. Keep putting that pressure on me. Keep telling me things you want to see me do so I can do it times two. You feel me? And when I say y'all showing love, and if y'all have any questions, come in the streams, come in the comments. People are asking me like general questions like, do you think the lock too slow? No. You got to do your research. 2K Labs already done announced that speed is broke again like it was last year. Y'all forget. Y'all thought the 80 speed lock from 2K22 was slow till you see me play on them. Like, oh, okay, he's staying with these little guards, the left and right patch the, before it was patched, things of that nature. No. So on that lock with that 85 speed, that's more than enough. No, it's not too much. Um, so keep that in mind. Like I said, just keep putting that pressure on me. If it's anything y'all need, drop it, anything you want to know in the comments. So I'm not going to hold y'all. This is what y'all came to see. The 99 strength overpowered lock of hell. Of hell. So keep that in mind. Like I said, if it's anything y'all need, drop the like and uh, let me know in the comments. And it's up from there. So I ain't going to hold y'all. Let's get straight to business. And let's get straight to this builder. Let's get it. So. First thing first. First Important part to this build. Position. Power forward. <laughs> they like, huh? Yeah, power forward. One thing I've learned from being in this builder, position <clears throat> is not as important as it was before. Like, on previous 2Ks, like the point guard and the shooting guards got less badges than the small forward or the power forward got more badges than... None of that matters anymore. It doesn't matter. What I've noticed that it does change is, though, the tiers that badges go in. I don't know if anyone else said that or paid attention to that, but depending on the position you are, and it's height brackets that decide which t which badges goes in what tiers. And I'm starting to notice that, and I will be having more things in the future trying to figure out which ones is the best due to where certain badges are tiered at. But that's neither here nor there. So, Position, power forward, hand, left, for me. That's your preference. Number, that's your preference. So, 6'6". Six, 6'6". Six. Six, six. The same 6'6". Six, six. I'm not doing nothing, no kind of extra. You know, um, this is like this is what I've been using in stage. This is what I will be using in tournaments. This is what I'll be using in wagers, uh, things of that nature. If you just like playing park, you don't even care about the It's just a, a, a good lock. It's a great lock. And people watch me on this play on this build on stream every day now. So I've been using them in Pro-Am, in Rec. A lot of teams are starting to like five out now. Good luck. Good luck with that. So you got 6'6". Six, six. We're going to go to 265. Y'all know I love some weight on me. No, I got to have some weight on me. Now, wingspan, right? Instead of going all the way to, what is it, 7'3 that you can go, you're going to go 7'1. You're going to go 7'1. 
You still get the Hall of Fame perimeter uh, badges, the the night, uh, the Hall of Fame steel. So everything steel is is uh, all purple in your tier threes. This is all to your preference. Um, so six six two sixty five seven one wingspan. That's what we have with that. Let me just make sure I got my stuff right right here. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and just start it out the gate and get it all the way popping. Strength ninety nine. 99 99 out the gate and like i said man man this bill be clotheslining people without them calling files like it's just crazy i um i've been hearing like like just bumps i'm knocking off i'm knocking them adrenaline boost off you ain't got but so many speed boosts on my court because i'm a full court lock anyway i'm full court press lock anyway so this 99 strength oh my god people are airballing i can't make this up people are airballing uh, dunk stick dunks. I swear to God, they're going up with the dunk stick, but but by the time it hit the body, I don't know if it's like an animation glitch. It's it's not even touching the the, the rim. So we're gonna go eighty nine. I mean ninety nine strength out the gate. What else we got here? We're gonna go ahead and max this three out. We're gonna get this stuff I can actually see. We're gonna max this three out. This eighty nine three is op. And if y'all didn't notice, you get Hall of Fame corner specialist with this one. Hall of Fame corner specialist with this build. Yes, with this 89.3, you get Hall of Fame corner specialist. So we can start from the top now. We're going to go 44, 35, 55. Now, I'm going to tell y'all people like, oh, that, that's not a high driving dunk. I, when I say I studied this game, I studied this game. Right? On my main lock, the one that we've all made, the 38 badge lock, I think it got like a 69 on there. I can't get none on there, but um, I think it was like, even with a 69, like Clay Thompson. I don't even be able to get Limitless because it's two, it'd be tier threes. So I don't even have Limitless on none of my bills. I don't do that much finishing to uh, to even open that up or get enough badges to accommodate that. Um, So I be using Clay Thompson. I use this Clay Thompson dunk package. All you need for Clay Thompson is a 55 driving dunk and a 35 vertical. So even on my other build where I had a 6570, I'm not even nowhere near in the quick drop, quick drops range or any of that. So trust me, trust me when I tell you. And you and for y'all who be in the stream every day, you know you only need a but if you ain't at an 80, you really ain't getting no good dunk packages. So it's like I know for sure Clay Thompson. That's the one I use is a 55 with a 35 vert. So you only need a 55 dunk. You're still going to get your dunks off. Trust me. 26. 39, that's cool. We got the 74, 89. Bring this up to 80. We got 21 shooting badges. Pass accuracy. We got that good 85. That ball handle. Okay, boom. Speed with ball. 35. Interior. 84. Go ahead and max this out. Go ahead, and, go ahead and max this out. I know we need our defense. We don't do nothing else. I think it's an 83. Boom. All right. Max your speed out. Oh, stop it at 84, 86, 79, 79. Oh, I know what it was. I don't need this. You don't need the 80. I think it was at an 80. Probably. 90 that. 76 this. Actually, you only need this at a 75. That way you can add more. You can go free throw, dunk, whatever. Speed with ball. I'm me. I'm probably gonna go more interior, so you can do it from here. So you got a 55 driving dunk, you got a 74 midi, a 89 three ball, which I'm gonna drop a jumper for. I have a jumper on this build that's all a uh, two A pluses and two regular A's. So it's like all four A's for sure. 80 free throw. So you know we're going in that rec with it. Oh, you still got a little extra. Going that rec with it for sure. Going pro am. 80 pass accuracy. Um, so you can pass faster now. You over the 75. My last build had a 70. You got an 80, so now you got the LeBron James faster passes. So if you already look at this build, I'm the same height. I'm actually bigger in weight than my main lock, 
because I'm a power forward. But I got a higher three ball. This builder is crazy. I got a higher three ball than my main lock. I'm faster than my main lock. I have more interior than my main lock. And I have a 99 strength. OD. OD. It's OD. So you got these are your stats for the for the uh for the six six lock at the power four position. Go to continue. Um, you pick what you want from here. You know, like I always, I'm big on like like this year. Extreme clamps really is good because of the uh, downhill play. Perimeter bad drop is good as well. They're all good. Like in pro am, I run double enhanced jump shot contest, but with a lot of rim running going on in stage and in park, um, extreme clamps is really good to cut to get better cutoffs. With Hall of Fame clamps, it's kind of like OD. And this is what you've made. And it's so crazy because when I pull up on people's dots with this bills, they be like, huh? They think we're running two centers. We're not. I'm a lock. I'm a six, I'm six six. I'm not six eight, six nine, I'm six six. It's just my position. You've made a two-way stretch glass. A two-way stretch glass clear. That name is just so weird to see on a lock because everybody is a three and D wing, three and D two guard, two-way sharpshooter, three and D point. So to come in two-way stretch glass, and they're like, huh? Not even knowing you got an 86 speed, 99 strength, a 90, damn near a 93 ball. You know what I'm saying? they like, whoa. So I'm going to do y'all one better for the ones who stayed, all the lawyers. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get y'all my badge load out on this build. So on here, you only get one. You can put it on whatever you want. I think I probably just put it on Pro Touch. Matter of fact, I think I did like this and then use this another one like Giant Slayer or something, because I'll cord that, right? Shooting, catch and shoot, automatic. Um, corner specialist, automatic. Um, which one did I do? My dead eye was, no, was it my blinders? I think it was my blinders for like corner shots. Um, core him. Still can get the uh, silver dead eye. Playing competitive, I'll I be, I be having this on Hoff. For sure. So I don't use none. This is like literally how I use mine. Claymore, if you want, you can even go like down on Claymore, maybe. And I don't know. I'm not big on the green machine. I don't know if it worked. People say it do. But you can go like down to gold and then just, just to have that extra, you know what I'm saying? However you want to do it. But I'll be half oh, I'll be half Claymore. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'll be half. Standing as a spot up lock. You know what I'm saying? I'm in that corner. Um definitely gotta have Bell out on. For sure. Matter of fact, core that because that's the highest. And I hope y'all done figured out this core thing. Try to core your highest tier. If you can't get tier three, try to get a tier two. You want to try to get the highest amount of badge points back in return. Post playmaker, that's on go. That's for off offensive rebounds. It boosts your teammate's shot percentage when you get a rebound and pass it back out to them. So as a uh, rebound and lock out the corners, I'm always I always had it on. So we got four. If I was in Pro-Am, I would have break start on, but I always keep like needle threader, um, vice grip, keep on, you know. So like these would be like my playmaking defensive. Um, anchor, got to have that. Chase down, got to have that. Um, workhorse, that's a good badge. I keep my rebound chaser literally on bronze, on both builds, and I still be horsing. I don't use all my badge points for that, for sure. Glove, go ahead and core him. Oh, snap. Off. Off. Um, what else do I be using in here? I use this Menace. So I'll probably do Menace. Um, to be honest, chat, I swear, I, prom I, don't, I don't have Interceptor on. I do not have Interceptor on. I'm going to tell you all why. I get so many steals when I don't have it on. I've put it on Hoff to play with it. And when I put it on Hoff, that's when it do... What 22 was doing when they first patched like the no auto uh steals. It's like when you go for the steal, it like throws you all the way past them. I get a lot of that when I have this badge on. I don't touch this badge and get a thousand lane steals. But to each his own. I, that challenger is OD. Clamps, I need that. Glove, OD. So it's like that's how I, I operate. Pick Dodger, it's a lot of ice on if it was. If it wasn't. If I'm in a scene where it's not, I'll go like silver or gold or whatnot. But for the most part, I haven't really had to use that. My strength on this build is just like Hall of Fame pick dodger automatically. Literally. So like I'll go like here or I can go gold here. 
So it would be something like this. Or sometimes this, like I'll bring down, Chase down, they haven't been really like, and I'll go like, I can go Hall of Fame here, or I'll leave this gold and bring this up to gold. You know what I'm saying? To each his own. But like, these are like literally how I'll be running my badges, whether it be stage. Um, it's a little different for fives. I'll make another one for that when we get more into the seasons of fives. But it'd be really like this though. Literally. Like this is how I get, Run my defensive badges. Ankle braces got to be broke. I, I, don't, I don't even be getting stunned. I don't know if people ain't got the dribbles yet or they ain't got Hall of Fame like ankle brace. I don't know. I don't even touch none of this stuff. Bronze rebound, gold workhorse, gold minutes, chase down silver, anchor on, Hall of Fame, all my tier threes except for interceptor because you don't need it. Interceptions, if you know what you're doing, you can time them. I don't have this, bitch, this badge equipped at all, and I still get crazy amount of steals. Lane steals. Lane steal is crazy. So I got a bill. Uh, I got a jump shot, like I said for y'all. So I appreciate y'all tuning in. I told y'all I had y'all, and I'm gonna be a man of my word at all times. We, I'm in these builders. I'm trying to figure out more and more locks. If I hear anything or I see anything, I got y'all. Be on the lookout for the man, man, the most chicken jumper on this game. I gotta be one of the best shooting locks on this game, hands down. I do not miss. I don't miss. I do not miss. But till next time. Peace.